Alrighty, part two of this video. I was going to keep going, but with all the stuff I have from this seller that I ran into at the Allentown Mall, um, I would have been going at least a half an hour in that last video. So we did it in two parts now. So first of all, I sat down. I know he always has good deals in his dollar bins. So, and he gave me a big discount on everything. Everything ended up costing $70. I mean, I didn't exactly, count, he didn't really... I didn't really count everything up, but I'm pretty sure that I got, you know, a pretty good deal on it. I should actually count them now. Well, I'll, I'll count. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. I spent 70 for all these cards. I think it's a good deal. So, uh, see, some of these now, I'm wondering if I have them in the right piles. I tried to get them organized. I don't know if I would have paid a dollar for that, though. Okay, anyway, let's start from the beginning. All right, we have... Bo Jackson, Classic 91. Okay, just a oddball bow. This is a Le'Veon Bell rookie card. I have no idea if it's really worth anything. I thought it was Chrome. I'd heard of the guy. I guess I paid a dollar for it. Probably not my one of my greatest buys. But Ron Dane, I like the fact that he's with the Badgers here. But this is not an early Ron Dane card. This is from 2014. But it's a cool-looking card. I don't know if I should have paid a dollar for it or not. Probably not. But I'm going to set these over here. I don't want to spoil them so much. So we got Ray Allen, which I believe is a rookie. So, you know, I paid a dollar for a Ray Allen rookie. Uh, here is a Heston Kerstad Pro Debut, number two draft pick. Here is a Pro Debut of Bobby Witt Jr., so that's before his rookie year. This is a Bo Jackson SP. I don't know why it says something about premier prospect. Because this is well after Bo retired. 2012. So I don't know if that was really worth a dollar either. This one I'm not even sure is worth a dollar. It's vintage. But it's Dave May, which is why I bought it. But I believe I already have this card. But I don't know. It looked, it was in nice, clean condition. So I figured I'll, I'll get it. Uh, here we go. A nice, clean Tim Raines card. I definitely have that. But, I mean, I, I'll take nice, clean Tim Raines rookies for a dollar all day. This here is Reggie Jackson. I'm pretty sure... I don't know what the original number is for the Reggie Jackson in the 78 set. This was number 21. I believe this is from the Burger King set, which is why I bought it. So, and it's in nice shape, too. Uh, Ron Dane. I have a thing for Ron Dane, as I told you. I liked him when I was in Wisconsin. This is a 2000, so it's a rookie. It says Rookie Retro. Um, this is... Oops. Yeah, I don't know that. Hold on. Another Ron Dane, Tradition of Excellence, Ron Dane, 2000, so another rookie. Here's an oddball Bo Jackson. I like the oddball stuff. I don't mind paying a dollar for oddball stuff like for Bo Jackson or Griffey. Another oddball Bo. This one says something about sample. Superstars, Superstar Elite. So we got that. All right. Then you got another classic Bo. This one's 1990. Okay. Let me get some more of my coffee before it gets cold. Ah, thank you. Bo Jackson. Ball Street. I think you guys might remember these from back in the day. So, I don't think I ever saw the bow. Okay, here's a relic for a dollar. Java Chamberlain. And it is numbered like 36 of 99. So, Jabba Chamberlain rookie. Here is a Robinson Cano rookie. Excuse me. Robinson Cano relic. 48 doubles. Career high. Not numbered, but a dollar. Aaron Rodgers. All my not fans of Packers are going to love that I have that card. This is probably like, I think it's like a third year card. I think his rookies were in 2006. I'm not sure. This is a 2008. So it was early enough that I thought it was worth buying. O'Neal Cruz Pro Debut from 2021. This is a Albert Pujols, and I believe it's 20, 2002. So it would be a second year Bowman Heritage. 
This is a Mike Marshall, the pitcher, rookie. I believe he was an early guy that got a lot of saves in baseball. So I thought it was good to get his rookie. Uh, T. Brian Hayes. Again, not a big fan of Diamond Kings. Not a big fan of Panini. However, it's his rookie. And it's one of those framed ones, which I believe were a little harder to come by. So that eh, probably was a waste of a dollar. Uh, I know I already have this card. I don't know if I have it as a single, but I definitely have a complete 79 set. I figure Bo and J.R. Richard, or Bo, Ryan and J.R. Richard, excuse me, I'm talking faster than I'm thinking. I figure it was a good deal. All right. David Justice, uh, pro debut, 1990. Uh, this is the same year, I believe, the Griffey had his first card. I uh, had a pro debut card. Joe Sackick, rookie from Opeachy. And I always like to get the Opeachy on the hockey cards over the tops just because it's a Canadian sport. I mean, basically, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I don't. that's not necessarily true, but that that's Canadian. That guy is, uh, what that team was, Quebec Nordiques or something. Yeah. Wally Moon. I already have this one. There's some kind of weird green stain that goes through both sides. Otherwise, it's pretty clean. I already have it, but I, I'll take an extra Wally Moon. Uh, speaking of oddball from before, here's a Griffey oddball. Kind of the same as the bow, so maybe from the same set or something. I don't know. Uh, Otani. Uh, this is from, I believe this is a 2019. So that's a second year Otani Bowman. So I thought that was a good deal on a dollar. Still going with the dollars. All right. Wayne Gretzky, Opeachy, same year as the uh, Sackett rookie. Excuse me. Ken Griffey Jr., 91 Classic. Okay. Fernando, rookie. Got a lot of these already, but I'll take another one. Bob Welch. I did not have this card as a single. I have it in my 79 set. Did not have it as a single. Trey Lance. I had no very little about this guy. I did look him up on Wikipedia. I believe he is is supposed to be the starting quarterback for the 49ers, I think they, it's said on there. And I always hear people talking about his, when I watch things like, I don't know, sports card radio saying about guys that people invested in or whatever. So I figure for a dollar, I'll take his rookie card. Um, Daryl Griffith. This guy has an interesting nickname, but it's not coming to the top of my head right now. This is his rookie. He was apparently a fairly good player until apparently he, was, he got injured and his role diminished around the time that Carl Malone came in. So, 68, Denny McLean, a couple years down the road, but you got to love that picture. So, and it's in nice shape. A rare Manny that I did not have. 91 draft pick, front row. So that's one I'm sure I did not have. So uh, Here's another relic. I like it because it's the Bucks. I love those uniforms. That reminds me of, uh, of Giannis. I wish this was a Giannis card, but obviously I wouldn't have gotten it for a dollar. I'm not sure who this gentleman is, Brandon Knight. I need to look it up, I guess. But it's a relic, and it's the Bucks, and I like the way it looks, so. Frank Thomas for a dollar. Name on front, but hey, I'll take it for a dollar. Frank Thomas, score rookie. Take that for a dollar. This one is Donruss Signature Series rookie of Brandon Lyon, who isn't a big star or anything. He was a reliever for a number of years, but it's numbered. So it's hard to come by. There's a $10 price tag on Just ignore that. It's on the top of it, so I don't know if it really applied to that card. Uh, this is a Collector's Choice Nomo International flavor, and it's Silver Signature. Not a rookie, but it's cool because it's Silver Signature, and I collect Nomo. Uh, 2021 Donruss Otani. So, a few years down the line, but I figure Otani, a dollar's not a bad one. Uh, Felix Milan. I'm not sure, but I thought Billy Pyle might have had this card. Uh, if not, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a rookie, so I'm content with it. A few more dollar ones, then we're getting to the 10-cent ones. 
All right. Rookie sensation, Donovan McNabb. I'm not an Eagles fan, but I know McNabb was a big deal around here. Matter of fact, if you look over here, I have two of his bobbleheads that I'm trying to sell. Not having any luck so far, though. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to save this one for last because it is the biggest deal of everything I got. The greatest deal. So, uh, John Daly, I believe this is his second pro, uh, card. It's not his rookie. The previous pro set was his rookie. Uh, this is, I believe, um, Drew Bledsoe. I think it's a rookie. It's an, one of those acetate cards. It's a little dark on the dark side, but yeah, it's an acetate. Uh, another Aaron Rodgers 2008 card. So again, uh, a couple years away from his rookie year. Um, Doug Flutie rookie. Uh, I'm assuming he had a USFL card. I'm not 100% on that, but yeah, um, I believe he did. And this card actually looks a little faded. So I'm not sure it's the greatest buy, but I mean, it. Decent, otherwise, might have over, might have overpaid a bit for that. But uh, this is a Pat Hayden rookie. I've seen this somewhere else. Again, it might have been on somebody else's video. Might have been on uh, Billy Pyle's video. I don't know. I've seen this card before. I knew it was a rookie. I looked at it; it was in good condition, so I bought it. Uh, Frank Thomas oddball. I have a couple other ones like this, but I believe this is a different image. I believe they did a whole bunch. We talked about him earlier. Here's a Giannis. And I never even try to pronounce his last name because I have no idea. So, but I am a fan of him. Being with the Bucks, my ultimate goal is to get his rookie card. And I will at some point, I'm sure. Uh, Vinny Testaverde. Top super rookie. And I believe this is an actual rookie of him. So, Vinny Testaverde. Uh, Ron Santo. Um... I believe I just got his rookie card in a whatnot auction. This is nowhere near his rookie. This is a 67. But it was clean for a dollar. I mean, the one corner is a little off. A couple of the corners are probably a little off. It's all right. It's pretty clean, though. There's no wrinkles or anything like that. No, no creases. Uh, Tim Raines. Normally, I wouldn't pay a dollar for a Tim Raines. But, again, you see it's old peachy. So, I figured, yeah. It's like a third year. Fourth year, probably. Raines card. Um, this is another McNabb. This is a Topps rookie. So, uh, this is a neat one. John Elway. It's Elite Silver Series, I believe it says. And as you can see, it's numbered to 5,000. So, I really love the baseball one. So, it was interesting to buy a football one. And Brett Favre, I believe this is a rookie. This is a wild card one, which isn't quite as cool as his other rookies, but I'll take it for a dollar. I believe he actually had a bunch of those in there. But here's the biggest card of the of my whole weekend. So here you go. Lou Whitaker. Now you're like, why is Lou Whitaker his biggest card? If you know anything, this is a 78. This is Lou Whitaker's rookie year. His actual rookie card was shared with three other people. This is the Burger King version. It's the only 78 card of him by himself. These are extremely hard to come by. And they go for at least, in, in this condition, they at least go for $20. And I've been wanting these cards. I still need the Trammel. I still need the Morris. But I'm so thrilled that I got this Whitaker and I got it as cheaply as I did. So, all right. So, that's it for that. And again, we're at 15 minutes, so I think I'm going to have to just do another video. Because I don't want these going so long that you guys are tired of watching them. So I'll call the other one 10, 10 Cent Fines from the uh, mall show. So, so here's another video. Thanks for watching, and we'll give you another one with the rest of the cards.